Welcome back to another Tech Talk. Today, we're gonna talk about Octavo Systems System and Package. This tiny package contains a one gigahertz processor, a DDR memory, and power management IC, plus several other components that are needed for the processor to boot up. Uh, the processor is uh, TI's uh, processor, the same one that's used on the BeagleBone Black. This makes it easier to, to get started when it, when it comes to the software, so thanks to all the uh, software packages available by BeagleBoard.org and, the, uh, and their community. Now, how do you turn this into a product? How do you commercialize this? Well, it's a BGA, but then it's a, it's, and it, there are several balls, if you look at the bottom, it's, it's pretty dense. But then the distance between these balls, when it comes to BGA, it's really not that close, meaning it's easier to route. You can run traces between the, uh, between the individual balls. You can place vias between the individual balls. And we actually have a reference design to show you how that's done. So this is the official OSD3358. This is what the part number of the uh, SIP is, OSD3358. And this is the dev board for the SIP, which is located right here. Uh, we added flash on the board, so you show you how you can add flash if you want. This is a, an open uh, reference design that you can use to get started. It's even designed in Eagle, if you're comfortable using Eagle software. And then we added several other things like the uh, uh, Ethernet, for example, and we have um, CAN and UART on the side. And all the other IOs are exposed uh, on a female header. You can easily add wires and wire up your uh, own circuitry or make a plug-in. So this is, this is a really nice way to get started evaluating the SIP and taking this and creating a reference design. But we made this even one step e easier for you. If you happen to uh, not be comfortable with BGAs or you have a, a, a lower volume in mind or you need something uh, easier and quicker to integrate, you can use the system on module instead. So we took the SIP, put that on a, uh, on a tiny board that has castellated holes. So these are uh, like uh, side pads, if you will, that are also on the bottom. So they, they're soldered on the bottom and on the side. Soldering these it can be done by hand or by, the, by a machine. So if you want to prototype something quick, you don't want to go through an assembly house, you can create a circuit board and solder uh, the sum right on there by hand. We also added all the other co uh, necessary components for the system to boot up, like a crystal and other uh, components. You see them down here. And we added flash memory. So you, all you need really for this sum, you can add power and ground, and you would have Linux running on the board. You don't need to add anything else. Now we take this even one step further. And now we have also the through hole board. The through hole board still has the sum on it, so we have three layers now of integration. We have this sitting on top of the sum, the sum on top of the TH, TH stands for through hole board. And the through hole board, the TH board, Ha includes also the SD card, so you can load the new firmware. It has few LEDs, so you can see what's going on in the system, and even the USB connector, so you can power it up, plug it in, and it powers up. So when, when it comes to this final step, this is extremely easy. You can take this and plug it in. It's running Linux out of the box. And then you can easily solder, solder wires, or you can solder a header, and then uh, use it with a breadboard. And I have an example right here. So I have a breadboard where I, this is uh, plugged in through the, uh, the 0.1 inch headers. I can now add my circuitry on this side or that side, uh, run the wires as needed. And I also connected a display to the back side. So over here, um, we also have the display showing on, uh, connected on the back side. So I, I used a, um, there are female pins on the display side and I added a female, uh, let me show you, and female on the uh, other side. And then I can just plug in the display or plug in wires if I need it. So now I have connections all around that I can easily use uh, without soldering anything beside the headers, of course. Now, these products, our products, are BeagleBoard compatible. If you go to BeagleBoard.org and download the software that you would normally use on your uh, 
BeagleBone Black or BeagleBone, uh, BeagleBone Black Wireless. The same software will still run on all the other hardware. Um, you may need to make some minor changes here and there to, to fulfill your needs, but you can start with a low-cost um, Beagle Bone Black or Beagle Bone Black Wireless, and then from there you can start adding wires and grading from here, but then you can go to a, uh, a, a different through-hole option or go to a surface mount option, or even go all the way down to the SIP itself and integrate that in your product. You really have options, more complex, uh, smaller, um, uh, more experience necessary, all the way down to just out of the box, plug it in, and you have HDMI and, and Wi-Fi built in, and all the other options. You really, it's up to you where, uh, where to start, depending on your project. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you find this useful. And now you see a way to integrate and build a one gigahertz system quite easily compared to how it's done in the past. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next week.